Another welcome home for the University of Louisville men's basketball team. 1986 NCAA champion and Cardinal great Milt Wagner is joining the team. Wagner also led the Cards to three Final Fours with head coach Kenny Payne, and he spent time in the NBA. Wagner has a long coaching resume as well, including his time assisting with UK coach John Calipari at Memphis. Basketball runs in the family. His grandson is ranked the top player in the 2023 prep class. Very cool. And Milt Wagner joins the team ready to make an impact. He does. Coach Kenny Payne gave him an important task of building a culture with the players, former and current. Wagner's title is Director of Player Development and Alumni Relations. It's a non-coaching position. Wagner says it's been a dream to return as a Cardinal once again. Every guy wanted to play for his or coach for his alma mater. I mean, that's just what it is. You know, I've always wanted to be here. Kenny has always wanted to be here. Timing was right for him. Now the timing is right for me. So we're both here together, and we're going to try to get this program back to where it needs to be and try to win us a national championship. Payne told everyone today, Cards fans will welcome home Iceman Milt. Well, news of Milt Wagner joining U of L staff brings about several questions, and who better to answer those questions than our own Rick Bozich? I asked one uh, just a second ago, which was, where does the Iceman nickname come from? One of the coolest players that's ever played at Louisville, uh, Gilbert. He was always clutch. He made two free throws late in the game to beat Memphis uh, in his senior season. He made the free throws that iced the 1986 National Championship down in Dallas. Uh, somebody asked him today about the pressure, and he said, you know, to Jerry Eves, I don't feel pressure, Jerry. So another U of L alum and a big part of the program in the 80s is coming back to the university. Right. Uh, Kenny Payne is really putting together a staff that it's like if you you have to have won a, a championship in order to be an assistant on this team, like an all-star uh, slate of assistants. You're exactly right, and he also putting together guys who he's had long-term relationships with. That really matters to him. Guys that he can trust, he knows he can work with, and guys who can relate to young players. Uh, Milt Wagner's wanted to come back and work at Louisville for a long, long time. He coached previously at Memphis, uh, Texas, El Paso, and Auburn. Six years ago, he was fired at Auburn with the rest of the staff. And where did he come? He didn't move back to New Jersey. He came to Louisville because he wanted to be part of this community. So what's the big picture impact on the Cards team for this hire when he's supposed to focus on the building the culture of the team? I think he'll be a guy who can talk to players about the history of the program, what it means to play here, how it's a... Uh, a extraordinary place to play because the community is so invested in Louisville basketball and I think also uh, he'll be a guy who can uh, pass along his wisdom of, of you know uh, uh, teaching in certain ways he can't really be a on the floor guy but he can help guys you know especially with their shooting effective for alumni relations as well oh yeah he's very popular among the players and as you know back in the fall they had that big meeting with uh, mm -hmm. former president Ben DePuty about uh, trying to integrate players back in the program. He's from the Denny Crum era. I think a lot of the guys from the Crum era felt a little excluded when Rick Pitino was the coach. I think Milt will do a better job of bringing everybody together. Okay, so shifting gears here, Milt's grandson, DJ Wagner, yeah. is the top-ranked player in the 2023 prep class. Do you think this hire will help U of L land DJ? It, it could. They're not even certain they'll be able to recruit him. That's part of the mystery about this. Uh, there is an NCAA rule about you can't hire people to help get one of their players. U of L is in communication right now with the NCAA, uh, the uh, U of L uh, compliance department, to find out. I don't think they would have hired him though if they thought there was no ch that would eliminate their chances to get DJ Wagner. Early on, it was all Kentucky. Recently, there's been a lot more push for Louisville. Right now, I think I think it's a two horse two horse race. What people forget though. Uh, DJ's dad, Dewan, I talked to him up in Indianapolis like a month ago. He said, don't forget his mom. She's the one who's going to make all these visits. Mm. And she didn't go to UK or UofL, and she's out in Camden. So I, I think it's, it, it's kind of wide open. With the, I guess, the NCAA uh, sanctions that are hanging over U of L, right. does a top recruit, even if your grandfather is working at the school, does, does DJ come to U of L when there could be a possibility? You can't play in the postseason or some other sanction down the road? Yeah, perhaps, uh, but I don't think that we're going to have a determination on that by the time he has to make a commitment, which would be, you know, sometime this fall he would probably commit. It doesn't, I talked 
to DJ himself up in Indianapolis at that Nike EYBL event. It didn't seem to be a, a, a situation that mattered to him, and I'm sure he'll be asked about it again because he's going to be here in Louisville playing Saturday, Sunday, and Monday out at the fairgrounds at another Nike event. I'm sure somebody in our sports <laughs> team will ask him about it. Oh, yeah. But should U of L uh, get DJ on the team, what kind of impact would it be for the basketball program, the Tree Building? Oh, huge! He'd be the highest-ranked recruit they've ever gotten. He's the number. He's been the number one player in the class for now for three years ahead of LeBron James' son. That clip you showed, that was when he was a fourth grader. He played out at J-Town. So he, he's always been, he, he's followed Louisville. It would be huge. You get a point guard like that, especially other guys want to play with him. And he's a member of the New Jersey Scholars AAU team, which is coached by Purvis Ellison, who played with Milt and Kenny Payne. And there are other players on that team who are really good recruits. You get DJ, you might get one or two other guys, and then mm. you're really rolling. You're building a team at that yes, point in time. Yes, you're building the, Listen, quite a team. Listen, there's big sports news in Louisville. Don't go anywhere besides the WDRB sports team. Rick Bozich writing more about this on WDRB.com.